20, part 2. <clears throat> so here we're talking about an IV is infusing 100 milliliters per hour. The strength is 200 milligrams in 500 milliliters. Find the dosage rate in milligrams per hour. So remember the dosage rate is the drug over time. So we have 200 milligrams in 500 milliliters. And we have our milliliters, 100 milliliters, infusing in one hour. So that's our setup. We're looking for milligrams per hour. MLs cross out and we have milligrams per hour. Now we just have to do the multiplication. So we take 200 times 100, 200 times 100, enter divided by 500, gives me 40. So I have 40 milligrams per hour. My next is they're receiving 10 milligrams per minute through an IV piggyback. The solution has a strength of 400 milligrams per 100 milliliters. We're finding the flow rate. So my strength is 100 milliliters with 400 milligrams. We're running 10 milligrams per minute. Now, what do they want? Milliliters per hour. So right now, I have milliliters per minute. Well, that's an easy fix. I just throw here 60 minutes is one hour. Minutes cancel, and I'm left with milliliters per hour. So, I'm going to take out my two zeros. I have 10 times 60. Divided by 4. And I get 150 mLs per hour. In example seven, we are, we have 12.5 milliliters per hour. We're calculating the number of units of humulin R a patient is receiving per hour if the order 300 units five hundred ml five hundred ml normal sailing with three hundred units. So three hundred units are in five hundred mls. So I had to put the milliliters in the denominator so they'd cancel because I want um, units per hour. That's what the question is asking, units per hour. So I knew my units had to be in the numerator. So that's why I had to set it up this way. So my mLs cancel out, my hours is in the denominator, and my units is in the numerator which is exactly where I need them. 
So now it's just a multiplication. I can cross out my two zeros up here with my two zeros down here. Three times 12.5. Three times 12.5 divided by five. Gives me 7.5 units per hour. So down here, an IV bag contains 1,000 milliliters of normal saline. We don't care about that right now. With 500 milligrams of a drug. We're infusing that at 12 drops per minute. The drop factor is 10 drops per ml. So we're going to find the dosage rate in milligrams per minute. So I am going to start with what it is infusing at. 12 drops per minute. And I need milligrams per minute. So my minutes in the denominator where I need it. So I think I'm on the right track here. I have 10 drops per ml. My drops are canceling out here. And then my strength is 500 milligrams in 1000 ml. So now my drops cancel, my mLs cancel, and I'm left with milligrams per minute, which is exactly what I need. So I'm going to take 12 times 500. Divide that by 1,000 times 10, which is 10,000. And my answer is 6 tenths. But remember, I have to put that leading zero there. In med medicine, it's important to put that leading zero there. So you have milligrams per minute. <clears throat> now we're doing six tenths milligrams per minute. Recommended dosage is five tenths to two and five tenths milligrams per minute. This is in between these two amounts, so it is in the safe range. In example nine, we're back to heparin and we're looking at heparin and we have 40,000 units in 1,000 mLs. D5W, we don't care. Um, we're going at 30 mLs per hour. I'm going to put my 30 mLs in the numerator. My mLs are going to cancel per hour. They want units. This is the units and they want it in days. So right now, I have units per hour. I need units per day. So there's 24 hours in one day. So I throw in a conversion factor there and my hours cancel out. I have units per day. So now I am 40,000 times three times 24 and that's going to be divided by 1000 and that's nope let me do that again I have 40,000 times 30 times 24 there we go divided by 1,000, 28,800 units per day of heparin the patient is getting. The safe range is 20 to 40,000. 
they're getting 28.8. That's in between your 20,000 and 40,000. So yes, it's in the safe range. In example 10, part A, we have a patient is refusing an infusion at five tenths milligrams per minute. The concentration of the IV piggyback is 100 milligrams in 200 mLs. How long will it take the, for the patient to get 40 milligrams? So 40 milligrams times, we're going to do, I got to put my 0 0.5 milligrams in the denominator. So my milligrams will cancel. And that was per minute. So my minute goes in the numerator. Um, and then I have 100 milligrams. No, I don't need that here. I'm sorry, I'm looking at... I'm going to throw and make this in hours. So one hour, 60 minutes. I didn't have to. I could get it in minutes first and then convert it. So here... My answer is going to be in hours. So I'm taking 40 divided by 0.5 times 60. And I have to put that in parentheses. So my one is my whole number. So it's one hour. So I'm going to subtract the one out. Now I have 0.33 of an hour, so I'm going to times that by 60 minutes. So one third of an hour, or 0.3333, is 20 minutes. So it's going to take me one hour and 20 minutes. Stay tuned for part three.